What's up with y'all? Yeah, don't mind my pettiness. I'm gonna shit on them niggas. I'm sorry. They shit on me for years. Can I shit on them for a couple months? Damn, leave me alone. I don't even got no rant for them tonight. They're just losers, okay? Anyway, uh, we streamed last night, back again tonight. Very happy to be in front of y'all. I was about to pass out, and something in my body said, I ain't gonna lie, the chat showed up last night. We had, like, a crazy amount of support. You gotta pull back up tonight. Have y'all been on the gram today? I was on the gram today. Uh, I think, I think woke and bitch nigga Twitter, or you might call it feminist Twitter, they're trying to get Blueface out of here. Okay, I, I predicted that this is going to happen to a couple of people. I also think it's probably one of the reasons why I think Future has curved his ways a bit. Okay, Future ain't really hard on thoughts no more. He's like Mr. Relationship. Okay, last two chicks he's been involved with, heavy relationship. Anyway, Blueface still waving the flag. I look up on Twitter today. Actually, Blueface even hit me up, and he's like... <laughs> Yo, blue face so stupid. <laughs> that nigga don't even know what four letter words mean. That nigga said, like, what's a cult? Anyway, have y'all seen this? Uh, let me get on the, I think it's on my page to be honest. They're trying to paint blue face as a misogynistic pig who's running a sex cult. Actually, I could go to my own page. This is a common way how to cancel people without analyzing the situation and giving any accountability to the people who are signing up willingly, all willing participants, all of age, I believe even drinking age. But the only person they're seeing at fault is Blueface. Anyway, really the video that kicked, kicked all of this off was this video. Now, let me preface. Blueface got this thing called Blue Girls Club. Basically, it's kind of like Bad Girls Club, except he, he mixed Bad Girls Club, like that type of vibe where it's a bunch of quote-unquote bad bitches in like a, a, a house living together. You know, women living together. Basically, too many women around each other. Estrogen, they're going to fight. They're going to do petty shit, right? However, he mixed that with the reality show, like, you know, like for the love of Ray J or for the love of whoever, the game or, or shit, Flavor and Love or whatever. And basically... They're not only going to live together, they're also kind of competing to be with them. Or not really competing, but like whoever lasts till the end gets to be with him. Now, he did a season of this, and, and, and there's a chick with like, I think she has a tooth missing. But like he ended up even signing, and I think, I don't know if they were involved. But anyway, he had a successful season. Now, this is our OnlyFans, so keep in mind, this is not network TV. Keep in mind, he ain't got no sponsors. Keep in mind, there's ratchetivity to be seen, okay? If you want to see fucking, fighting, you know, all type of debauchery, you could go to this OnlyFans and watch basically a lot of these young women essentially degrade themselves. By the way, if you ask what the payoff is, dick and clout. Now, they know this, okay? And I got to point that out. But regardless, this video went viral because people saw Blueface showing the living conditions of these women. Let's watch the video. We're getting tattoos today. Everybody. You ready to get tatted? Where you going to get your shit hit at? Ooh. You getting tattooed? Huh? You getting your tattoo today? or go home which one is it your okay okay yeah. on the hand yeah. oh that's gonna be it right there <laughs> <laughs> it kind of look like my hand G. Oh. Ah, we're ready to get tatted cat yeah. yes those are bunk beds So essentially, they all get branded or tatted. They got to put blue face somewhere on their their body. These are all willing women. Like you see, like look at this chick right here. This shit. Like first of all, her chest looked like is that champion? She got tatted across her chest right here. 
First of all, like they ain't like these chicks are clean skin. They tatted anything. They tatted logos. They tatted designer purses. Like and it's they tatted anything on their body. Okay, like these are ratchet hoes. I, I'm, I'm like, listen, we gonna have to call a spade a spade. Okay. However, they all get blue face tattoos, and obviously woke Twitter don't appreciate that. And now they hating on said at a lot of things. They're living conditions. They're living in bunk beds. I don't have a problem. They were mad that Blueface gave them a choice. You're either getting tattoos of my name or you're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's giving them a choice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see too much crazy with... It's a choice, okay? And they're, they're feeling like these women aren't doing things under... They're either doing it under duress, which means like, yo, under pressure, or basically... They have no choice, and they're being, pre like, they're doing against their will, right? So, the whole thing came up saying that he's having a sex cult at his, as, at his spot. And we got to call a spade a spade. He did address it. I'll read his, him address it before I give my thoughts. He had said, yo, she We're getting tattoos today. Who knew my little OnlyFans would go so viral? OnlyFans show would go so viral. That's what he's calling the OnlyFans show. Then he later said a little bit more. He said, what the fuck is a cult? He said, for those who are curious, my show is a three-week series. I move women in and uh, in from all over the U.S. I fly them out to Cali, put them under one roof. I own two homes. I don't stay there. I take care of all their financial needs while they are there. I promote their brands, etc. We film all day. Tune in. And I believe there was another tweet. Because, like, they was really on him trying to cancel him. But imagine trying to cancel a nigga whose first song was Bust Down Tatiana. I mean, he had another song. He basically said, uh, blue, blue face bleed him. That's his Twitter. Wait. He actually got banned off Instagram, too. So for promoting this type of fucker, you know, you know, you know Instagram don't play. They got him out of here, okay? However... So he still defend himself. He says, America's next top model was on bunk beds, but y'all mad at me. Uh, then he says, we don't tolerate sexual conduct. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we don't tolerate sexual conduct between men and women. So the women do tend to grow interest in each other because it is their adults. At the end of the day, it's only so much I can control. What they do with each other is part of the show. Subscribe to see now. So apparently they're on OnlyFans fucking each other. And Blueface is saying, yo, I make sure the dudes that are around don't fuck the girls. But if they want to fuck each other, they can. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't even really see a problem with what Blueface is doing if everybody has a choice. And y'all tell me if I'm tweaking. All of these girls are signing up to get on Blueface. Like, I know I know a thought that was trying to get on the show. Like, they all want clout. Like, they all think that they're going to become, like, some super clouded person afterwards. Like, they know they've seen a season of it before. They think they're about to pop on and, like, I don't know, like, make music afterwards. Like, all type of dumb shit. And this is where I don't feel bad for none of these chicks on the show. Somebody said, oh, that's what R. Kelly said? <laughs> am, am I tripping, though? Like, I don't... Yo, I don't see a problem with these girls. They're picking to get clout. They're making the decision. This is something that's publicly filmed. It's available for all to see. I see somebody I saying R. Kelly. R. Kelly had these chicks in a dungeon and was giving them punishment. Like, look at the wall for like apparently if he invited over company and they looked at the company in any type of sexual suggestive way. He would tell them to go stand in a corner and look at the wall for like 30 minutes. Like, that's on some other shit. This is pretty much some, a ratchet reality show that's on OnlyFans. I think it's night and day. Somebody said, wait, these women got to ask permission to eat? Uh, I have never seen that part of the show. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm going to keep it real with you. About two or three of these chicks, I don't know if they still on the show or not, they already hit me up for interviews because everybody want to cash out on the clout, bro. Like, yo, come on, but you can't have it always, bro. Y'all tatting blue face on your body. He not forcing y'all. Y'all want to stay there to get clout. 
They already hit me up. Yo, could I come on your Twitch? So like, you know, look, I want to do an interview. Interview about what? I don't give a fuck about what you was doing in there. Everybody wants clout. And what I'm saying is that do the women that are signing up for these shows, their parents, everybody else. By the way, I'm going to keep saying again, everybody here is over 21. Do they hold no fucking accountability? They're doing this shit for clout. It's a very interesting time we live in where, like, it seems like the modern woman, you got to treat them like babies. Like, zero accountability. Like, these women are going in with a purpose and a plan, yet we're supposed to feel bad for them and try to save them. I can't try to save these hoes. They in there doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Somebody says Blue Kelly. <laughs> also, how you going to cancel a dude who's on his first album? He has a song called I Need a Freak Bitch. I need a chick that's banging on the set while I'm banging in her guts. I agree. They're trying to cancel niggas for anything in, in 2021. It, 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 when I saw them like get outraged about this, I'm like, let's just be clear. Blueface isn't making number one records, but I think he'll always be good because he could rap. Like, I know some of y'all don't like his talent or y'all don't think he could rap, but I think sometimes his raps, like him on Moonwalking on Calabas was cool. I liked it. I think he could be a viable force a bit in music but the the draw about blueface is i personally think he's an entertainer like he's just he's just a nigga that don't give a fuck so he gonna have to do a little reality show he gonna have to like you know i mean I, he don't seem like a tiktok type of nigga but he gonna be having to do all that type of shit to like make his career what it is i don't got no problem with it nigga's an entertainer it's like ray j i loved one wish if I had one, like nigga if, I remember running out in the rain one time because I was watching a video when Ray J was singing One Wish out in the rain. That's the only song I ever liked of Ray J. Well, at least until he did, I hit it first. But I liked Ray J because he had reality shows. He was acting a bit. What you want him to do? Just be Brandy's brother? I'm just saying that leave Blueface alone. That's all I'm trying to say. Leave Blueface alone. Blueface is, I don't think he's pimping these chicks. I don't think he's doing nothing illegal. I think he's having a reality show that I believe that people in 2021, they are looking at every type of thing that men do and profit off. Like if it's some OnlyFans shit that a woman is doing, it's fucking amazing. It's great. They don't care. But if a dude is profiting from it, you hear these words like sex trafficking. This is a sex cult. This is brainwashing. It's all type of, they, they they throw some phrases on it that even if it ain't true, it looks so bad, you want to stop. I'm just saying, leave that nigga alone, man. The real question is, why are the chicks these days so fucking desperate for clout that they're signing up to get on a show to tattoo a nigga's name anywhere on their neck, on their face, on like under the eye, they sleeping in bunk beds, they fucking every and anything, they fighting, they losing tooth, they ripping out hair, that's what they doing, we need to evaluate them girls, not blue face, anyway, I'm not subscribed to their OnlyFans, so I've never seen the full show, but in some of the footage I've seen, they wilding, Anyway, <laughs> uh, what else been happening on the gram? Have you, 